When it comes to Pilsners, the Czech Republic is meant to be the godfather of them all. Clock and from the Czech Republic and the Vino Radsky Pivova Brewery, we have one of their number 11 Czech Pilsners coming in at 4.5% ABV. Now, then, um, I got this from the House of Trembling Madness this beer um, when I was up in York a few weeks ago. A um, little bit of history about the Vino Radsky um, Pivova um, Brewery. Now, um, the first came about in 1893, which is on the can. You've got the 1893 on there, okay? Um, and are founded by Mistansky Pivova, right? <laughs> I hope I pronounced it right. In the Vino Aradi neighbourhood, um, which is now part of Prague, but it wasn't back then. It was a, like a like, little village on the side of Prague, okay, but it's now become part of Prague. And yeah, this that's where they were founded. And they carried on, um, basically, um, at one stage in the 1920s, there was actually a film studio at the brewery, right? And so the brewery is right in the middle of a, of a national film studio. Um, and obviously, they halted production because of World War Two, and then the government, sort of after um, World War Two, nationalised it. But then, in 2013, hence the other date on the can, it's got 2013 on on there as well. Um, a new ownership took over, took over the brewery, and they've been doing these, they're sort of these, uh, these craft pilsners. Um, you might as well just. That's the way you want to sort of really sort of describe them, really, is these craft pilsners. So, without further ado, let's let's crack this open. Let's get it into a glass and let's give it a review. That's quite funny. You know, I've been asked for a long time to sort of do the Czech beer, you know, pilsners like your your Budvar and stuff like that, and I haven't. And the reason I haven't is for some reason I wanted to. Try and do a Czech Pilsner, something a little bit different to be the first Czech Pilsner on the channel. And when I see these, I thought, there we go, there's our Czech Pilsners, there is something different there. So then, first impressions. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a lovely pour. It's, it's not clear golden, there's a haziness to this, this golden colour there's a little bit of <coughs> amber there as well and it's not the lights um it's got a beautiful four finger tight white foam head plenty of carbonation which you should expect from a pilsner and you should always put it in like a, a pilsner glass you know this is a pilsner glass um it promotes this this this, this high carbonation um let's get the aromas Oh, it's really, really hoppy. Hoppy, grassy. You're getting that pepper there. It has a sort of, look at it, it's like how hazy it is. It's, it's like it's slightly unfiltered. Definitely slightly unfiltered. So without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. This is a really, really hoppy pilsner. 
Do you like your hops? You are going to like this. It's hoppy. It's bitter. It's flavoursome. Now I do know that they use the Saz hops in this. This has to be one of the hoppiest pilsners I've ever had. And probably one of the most bitterest pilsners I've ever had. This is top draw. What I am thinking though is I don't think I could have too many of them. It's too bitter, too dry. I think too many of these and you're going to get heartburn. You can't taste it. You can't pick out any little malt, bready malts or anything in this. This is this is a really, really hoppy, hop forward pilsner. It's all about the hops, and they're there in abundance. It is really, really bitter. <laughs> On a hot day, this would be fantastic. It really, really would. Look at the way it laces on that glass, it laces on that glass, it's absolutely fantastic. This is a great, great drinking beer. Um, I think it's about three quid a can on House of Trembling Madness, and I think it's three quid well, well spent. That carbonation just keeps rolling away in that glass. You know, this is a non-nucleated glass as well, so this carbonation is all about what's coming out of that can. Oh, we've got no widgets in the bottom promoting it or anything like that. It's no widgets keeping this head, that keeping that carbonation rolling. You can see rolling, rolling, man. Look at it. Um, what can I say? What can I say about this beer? Fantastic, fantastic. What a great beer to have on a Saturday night. That bitterness just makes you want to keep coming back for more, more sips. But, look, this is good stuff. What, what I'm saying to you all is, look, get hold of a can, try it, see what you think. Let me know, you know. Um, get on House of Trembling Madness, get yourself a can. So, look, another beer to try before you die. This is definitely got to put it on your bucket list. So, look, get hold of a can, try it, see what you think. Leave me a comment below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, Beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.